Okay, let's start with Hello Beautiful Ultra Shea Body Cream by Bath & Body Works. As you can see, most of these are Bath & Body Works. So the fragrance notes for the Hello Beautiful fragrance are White Gardenia, Jasmine, Jasmine Petals, I mean, Magnolia Blossom, Pink Nectarine, and Cotton Musk. Hello Beautiful is an amazing dupe for Vera Wang Embrace Marigold and, Ar and Gardenia. The perfume version of Hello Beautiful is actually better than the perfume version of Vera Wang Embrace Marigold and Gardenia. The Vera Wang perfume comes in an eau de toilette. Hello Beautiful perfume comes in perfume concentration. It just says perfume spray. So I take that to mean that it comes in the highest concentration available for perfume, which is per parfum. I think I'm right. But anyway, the Hello Beautiful body cream, because it smells a lot like the Vera Wang Embrace Marigold and Gardenia, goes perfectly with that perfume because it helps that perfume to last longer project and it helps it to project better the main thing is that i don't wear this perfume a lot because on its own it's just very weak i wear this if i'm just going somewhere quick and i'll be back home soon and then i don't mind changing perfumes after that um i think i don't mind pairing this with any perfume that is white floral it's not my favorite to pair with my white floral perfumes, but I don't mind pairing it with white floral perfumes. So that's something else to keep in mind if you have a white floral perfume. Next up, we have French Lavender and Honey, the Ultra Shea Body Cream, also by Bath & Body Works. The fragrance notes for this are French Lavender, Lily of the Valley, Nectarine de Provence, Sunkissed Honey, and White Oat, Oak Musk. I pair this with the dupe. Well, the dupe for Jador, except Jador came first. So French Lavender and Honey is the dupe for Jador. But these go really well together, this perfume and that body lotion, because they pretty much smell the same. This one is a bit more melony. It has melon in it. But um, I have the current formulation of Jador. I still love this perfume. I'm still glad to have it in my collection, but it doesn't perform the way it used to perform in its original formulation. I also like to pair that body lotion with DKNY Nectar Love. DKNY Nectar Love pretty much smells like powdery honey to me. If honey came in powdered form, it would smell like this. And on its own, the DKNY Nectar Love doesn't last that long and it doesn't project that well. So if I wear it, I either pair it with this body lotion or honestly, I layer these two perfumes together on top of French Lavender and Honey. Basically, I never wear this perfume by itself, honestly. Next up we have one in a million, my favorite in this entire collection. It is my favorite because it smells pretty much just like my favorite perfume, Gucci Bloom. In my opinion, one in a million was an obvious attempt on the part of Bath & Body Works to dupe Gucci Bloom and mimic its popularity and success. And they did a really good job. It's not an exact dupe, but it comes really close. Let me smell it right quick just because I love the way it smells. Like I said, it smells a lot like Gucci Bloom, but not as woody. Gucci Bloom has a woody back smell. It has a woody smell in the back, but one in a million doesn't have any of that woodiness. It's just white florals. The notes in here are jasmine extract, tuberose oil, white gardenia, pink pepper, and cashmere musk. This doesn't really smell peppery to me, I still smell way more of the white floral in here, but long story short, if you wanted the matching lotion for, lotion for Gucci Bloom, but you hate the fact that it costs $50, then go ahead and get one in a million, the body lotion, because like I said, it's a perfect dupe and it really works well with Gucci Bloom. It really makes it pop. It really makes it last longer. It helps it to project more, even though I don't think it needs to. Gucci Bloom has enough projection on its own, at least the way it performs on my skin. 
But I also like to pair one in a million with Lily Lang by Sylvain de la Court. Lily Lang by Sylvain de la Court has a tuberose note to it, but this one smells more like a musky tuberose. Musk is the main player in this perfume. I don't know why I'm showing you the back. <laughs> There's nothing on the back. But musk is the main player on this perfume. The tuberose comes in there, but it's not the star of this perfume. But I love tuberose. So to make the tuberose kind of stand out more, I pair it with One in a Million by Bath and Body Works. Next up, we have Champagne Toast. I think this one's been around for a while. But Champagne Toast is pretty much a sugar bomb. <laughs> it has pink champagne, black currant chambord, sparkling nectarine, and sugared musk. It smells like the musk is sugared in here. It smells like everything is sugared in this lotion when i smell it just super 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 sweet super sweet if you hate sweet this is not the lotion for you which also means that the perfume i pair it with is not the perfume for you but i pair it with pink sugar is that focusing anyway pink sugar is very sweet a lot of you know that because pink sugar is kind of well known in the fragrance community either well loved or well hated depending on what side of the fence you are on when it comes to sweet perfumes but pink sugar doesn't really need to be layered on anything to make it pop more but i like to be obnoxious and make it pop more than it already does so i layer it on top of champagne toast when i layer it on champagne toast this takes over the room this takes over the air this takes over any space i enter and i love it but if you are the type of person who doesn't like to make that big of an impact, you don't need to layer these together. You really don't. <laughs> you can just layer this on top of basic lotion. And I have some basic lotions. And I, by basic, I mean unscented. And I have some unscented lotions that I'll be talking about. Next up, we have Rogue Love by Rihanna. Rogue Love is pretty much a dupe for Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. It has mandarin, I think, it has caramel, and it has some other florals and fruits in here. It doesn't last that long, the Road Love Eau de Parfum, and neither does Juicy Couture by Viva La Juicy. I mean, Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. I bought this to layer it under the Road Love perfume to see if it would make it last longer. It did not. But it works well with Prada Candy. Prada Candy is another perfume that struggles to last on me, but when I layer it with Road Love Body Cream, it does last longer. And it also works well, in my opinion, with the Black Opium line. I have out here for you Black Opium Floral Shock. Is that a better view? But Black Opium Floral Shock honestly lasts on me quite well. It's surprising because the Black Opium line usually struggles to last a long time on me. But Black Opium Floral Shock lasts on me quite well, but it pops more with Road Love by Rihanna. If I'm going for an unscented fragrance, my two favorite unscented fragrances, I mean unscented per lotions to wear are these. My battery is about to run dead. It's blinking. I like Aveeno Deli Moisturizing Lotion and Botanica Cherry Blossom Body Butter because even though it says cherry blossom, it doesn't really smell like anything. It just smells like lotion. Thanks for watching. Bye.